So this video is all about um, how to enqueue a script on a WordPress site. Uh, ideally in a plugin, that's what we're gonna be doing. Though you could use essentially the same methodology for a uh, theme. So I've got this plugin, it's called Quick Guide. Um, I've got a quickguide.js file, which has some very, very simple JavaScript in it. You'll see what it does in a sec. Basically it pops up a little alert. Um, and so we wanna get this on every page on our site. Um, realistically, you would not want to run this JavaScript on every page of your site. It would be really annoying, but uh, we're just trying to demonstrate how you do this for what you actually want to use. So you start with using the add action function that WordPress provides. You spell it right. And then you are going to use the WP and Q scripts hook. And then you're going to name a function. Um, if you're more modern, uh, you can do this some other ways. Um, you can put pass in a closure or something like that, but this is bulletproof all the way back as far as WordPress supports, so this is the way to do it, uh, if you ask me. Until WordPress actually drops support, this is the way I'm gonna always teach people. So um, I'm just calling this WP and Q. Uh, it's not a great name, but it works. Um, and then inside of that action, so what's gonna happen is this action will fire WP and Q scripts and that runs on every WordPress page load. And then it'll pull in our function right here. And we're just gonna pull in one function, WP and Q script is the function we're gonna use. We need to do two things there. First, we need to give the WordPress a handle. I'm just gonna call it QJJS, which is always a mouthful for me. Um, and then I'm gonna pass in the, uh, the location, which I believe I'm gonna use uh, let me check my cheat sheet real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna use plugin dir URL with the magic sign file. I'm gonna actually copy this over. Um, basically, plugin dir URL is a function WordPress gives you that'll pull in the actual folder that your plugin is in. If you're doing a style sheet from a theme, you'll use a different function, probably get style sheet URI or something like that. And then I need to add on the back the name of the, my script there. So if I put in my semicolon and I save, uh, and I reload my page, I already have this plugin activated. So my quick guide is here. I can go into the back and I can go to WP admin and it won't show up. And that's because admin in QScripts is different. Um, but every front, front side page of my site is gonna have this. It's actually really annoying as I try to click around a little bit to demonstrate it to you. And this is why you wouldn't wanna run this specific JavaScript on every page, but this is how you enqueue JavaScript that go, runs on every page on a WordPress site. All right, happy hacking.